Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got some new product from Skystars. And before I begin this video, I would like to tell you guys that this product has been designed by myself in collaboration with Skystars. And when I use the word design, I mean everything except the core electronics. Now core electronics is something which is managed by their own engineering team. So in case if you have any kind of feedback or suggestion, you can leave them down in the comment section. And without wasting any more time, let's jump to the video. Now let's see what we get inside the packaging. We have a low ESR capacitor, XT60H connector, 4-in-1 ESC cable and a pair of wire. Now at the first instance, it will look like ordinary stuff. But if we talk about the price of this ESC, it is a budget friendly uh, ESC. And at this price point, it is really hard for a manufacturer to supply a proper uh, capacitor and a proper XT60 connector. So if you're gonna look carefully, you're gonna notice that they are supplying you a XT60 edge connector rather than a normal XT60 connector. Along with that, they have also gone with a Rubicon ZLS series capacitor. Now, I don't know how many of you would have noticed this, but there are many brands like HJLRC, iFlight and some other brands which supply you a Chinese knockoff capacitor and not really a nice capacitor. It doesn't really work properly. But with the case of Skystars, they are supplying you a original ZLS series capacitor. So it is having the lowest ESR value in the electrolytic capacitor family and it is the most widely used. So in case if you go with any like cheap brand or like some other kind of brands available out there, they will gonna supply you that uh, Chinese knockoff capacitor. And once you're gonna install that, you will gonna have a poor performance and then you're gonna go and Google all the shit out. And then you're gonna notice that you need to invest in some better capacitor. And then at the end of the day, you will again end up spending money on this capacitor or a Panasonic capacitor. So this shows that Skystars really care about the user experience and they are trying to give you the best at this price point. Now let's talk about the ESC itself. Now the first thing that we notice is that this ESC uses some rubber gummies. Now what it does is that it prevents any kind of damage during a crash to the PCB. So in case if you're gonna crash hard enough and you don't have this rubber gummies installed, what will gonna happen is that your PCB will gonna bend and it will gonna develop some mini cracks. And once those mini cracks are developed, the entire ESC will gonna short circuit and your ESC will gonna catch fire. So in case if you are into market for a ESC, make sure that you buy a ESC which has these rubber grommets installed. Now let's talk about this heatsink over here. Now this heatsink is a bit unique and first of its kind to be used in FPV electronics. Now this is made up of mu metal and mu metal is an alloy which is famous for its EMI nature. And what it does is that it prevents any kind of EMI from coming outside of the electronic. So this will gonna prevent any EMI generated by the ESC to go inside the gyro of your flight controller, which in turn will gonna result in a very smooth performance from your flight controller. Along with that, this metal has been uh, attached to the MOSFET using some thermal paste. So this will gonna also act as your heat sink. And if you are gonna flip the ESC, you can see over here you have your header pin and this is where your 4-in-1 ESC cable goes and over here you can see that they have also given you these parts so in case if you don't want to use the cable you can simply solder your wire over here and if you're gonna look at these parts over here you can see that they are having edge plating now edge plating is a premium feature and now let's talk about the main feature and something so special about this ESC is that it is having 128k PWM frequency at this price point so if you're gonna go into the market and search for a 128k pwm frequency esc you're gonna notice that there is no such esc which cost under 90 dollar so this is the first esc to supply 128k pwm frequency and in case if you don't know what it means well in simpler terms you're gonna have a smoother performance and a much uh, flexible esc so it can give you more torque or more rpm it all depends the way you want to configure it the way you want it but it is having a 128k pwm frequency and that is the highest in the market right now so that's it for today i hope you guys like this in case this video was really helpful for you please consider subscribing to this channel it really helps me a lot thank you guys